My name is Fred Rast, and I'm co-owner with my wife in the Atlantic Cinema. My name is Mickey Rast. I'm one of the owners of the Atlantic Cinema. Our partner, Lenny Edwards, used to be the owner of the cinema. He passed away five years ago, and since then we've taken over running the theater for the last five years. The theater has been here for over 55 years almost close to 60 years. It's been a mainstay for the community. They have a really great uh, relationship with the town itself. Uh, they're a lot different than, uh, you know, a, a conglomerate style uh, cinema. You know, much more personal. Customer service is top of the line. You have a much different feel of walking into an independently owned cinema than if you were walking into an AMC or a Regal. It's, uh, it's, it's more personal. I really just enjoy the atmosphere of it. When you walk into the theater, it just feels nostalgic. There are a few small theaters like the Atlantic Highlands ones, but they're definitely rare now. Initially, when all these megaplexes started popping up, it was really exciting. Um, but then you start to get sad when you realize that, you know, they put the smaller theaters out of business. It is difficult in this economy to try and compete with the larger theaters and also to deal with the, um, the film companies because a lot of times we have to fight for certain films that we would like to show here. The big companies have caused a problem for independent theaters. The big companies might have a thousand screens, you know, we have five. So what will happen is they may generate 50, 75, 100 thousand dollars back to the film companies or more. And in our case, if it's a crummy movie, you know, we, we may generate back in a week $500. Subsequently, what's happening now, they're being very restrictive on us getting some of the new movies. Officially, they're not doing it, but the gimmick that they're using now is that we're not uh, producing that much revenue. Well, you can't if you don't have a shot at it you fall below a certain percentage that you're selling, sometimes you don't get them immediately. And then the poor little independents, they're saying there's not enough copies of the film to give to you until three weeks after the opening. Three weeks later, you're not gonna have a lot of people who come to see the movie because it's not a brand new movie. Probably within the last five years, I know the entire theater industry basically switched over to digital. And it makes sense, I mean, because of sort of the digital workflows and because of the fact that, you know, film projection is a very, very old technology and it's not the most efficient and it's not the cheapest, that inevitably theaters were going to have to switch over to digital. The digital units cost about $76,000 per screen. And you also had to upgrade the sound system to match the digital filming. Very, very costly. Uh, to the tune of almost $350,000 to be able to stay in business. It was a big expense. So Mickey and I bit the bullet. It wasn't enough money to keep things going, so went and uh, mortgaged our house to the hilt and invested the money in the theater. It, it is a little bit of a struggle, but uh, we try to keep up. And uh, we've continue to grow and keep the theater going. We're very community-minded and the town is very, very um, supportive of the businesses. And all in all, it's been a very nice experience. It really is. We know just about everybody that walks through the door anymore. It's just, um, it's a nice feeling because it is a mainstay of the town and people come here for the theater. They also go to the restaurants. They s stop in some of the shops and they come here. It's like a big happy family. That's what it is, it really is.